How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Boruto episode 281. Now what happened towards the ending of the previous episode kind of threw us off, especially me, because I thought that everything that has been happening thus far is actually happening in real life, real life situation. But it turns out that um, Boruto and the others has been in some type of simulation, a simulated program. Now what we don't know is if what happened in those simulation program design did actually take effect on the bodies of those candidates that are literally inside those uh, pods, right? So without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Now, I really hope that this will be the last episode on this Squid Game thing. I'm just hoping. Maybe, maybe not, but... Maybe we have one or two more episodes to go. But the way this thing is going, it looks like they're slowly expanding it because it just got deeper in, with the way things are going. Seeing as to... We find out that uh, they've been in a simulation, in a simulated program. And we're not sure if those people that died in those simulation program did actually died for sure, for sure, for sure, where their main body is, which is inside those parts. So now that Boruto knows this, I guess his next goal is to start waking everyone up one by one, two by two and find this guy that has been doing this to them. Uh, another good thing that is happening is that um, Sarada, Kowaki and Mitsuki have run into the Ambu Black Ops. So with the Ambu Black Ops, Black Ops help, they should be able to... Um, pinpoint where Boruto and the others are. Oh, is this simulation situation another simulation program? You know? I don't know. Do you tokoda indeed? Makes sense. Probably for days. So if everyone is alive, if everyone is alive, that's a very good thing. So they have to defeat Olga. They have to defeat that guy. But in order to defeat him, they're gonna have to find where he is, at least.
Okay. Etono. This just got interesting. And they better be careful. He might be watching them still. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. That's not happening. They better be careful though. Because now they are going into an uncharted territory. Somehow I feel like they are being watched. This is a mystery. They just they just got looped around again. It's like a some type of a loop. Don't tell me it's another simulation. A simulation under a simulation. Why does he want the map so bad? Well, I, I don't blame him. He wants to get out of here as soon as possible. Even Boruto Rasengan couldn't penetrate the wall at all. Wow. Don't let that touch. Oh, he's gonna control her to death now. Didn't didn't she see what happened to the other guy? Or maybe she wasn't there when it happened to him. He should have. She should have seen those things coming. Don't tell me he found the exit. That should be a good thing though, I'm not gonna lie. What? Olga? You better don't let him touch you. A wooden ogre? What is going on here? Don't tell me ogre himself is also a simulation, a simulated program. There's a light at the end.
Hmm. What now? Oh, just like the other guy, huh? Ooh. That then is gonna snap snap her neck into two. She's being control. Ooh. It's not real pain. This is a continuation of the Genjutsu. Wow. I caught it, huh? It's an illusion. A Genjutsu under a Genjutsu. What now? She's still being controlled? Oh boy. Nani? What the hell? I am Olga? Now, that. What the what in the blue moon is going on here, man? She's. She's been Olga this whole time? What type of a stupid experiment is this, man? After all this time, she has been Olga all this while. I guess giving a face of an old man would throw everyone off from the real person, right? Because we all, I thought that it's a guy, an old man. Wait, that sounds like Orochimaru. I am the eight inner created by Amado. Oh, I thought she was referring to Orochimaru. This is actually the, this is Kara stuff. A Genjutsu under another Genjutsu. What intonation is going on here, man? <laughs> this is part of Amadou's research. Jigen destroyed an important part of my body. What is that hole? That's her body too. She So she herself is also under the same Genjutsu, but she has the, I believe she has the ability to, uh, to stop it or not.
So did Rakuru died or Rikuru did he actually died? I should wake everybody up and apologize. Is she actually going to do that? Hmm? This Genjusu and I are linked. You will wake up in the real world. A simple mechanism. Is this actually gonna happen if he stabs her with that kunai? It's gonna work. I can understand why that it, that they are linked because her body is also under the same genjutsu. I don't know why. If Boruto doesn't want to stab her in the heart, just stab her arm or something. That could have, is that possible? A reason to live. Wow, Boruto. Boruto, Boruto. And this place is slowly coming apart somehow. It's like things are happening, weird things are happening. It's crumbling somehow. Does that mean that her willpower is starting to fade or something? Wow, after all of this, Boruto still chose to save this woman. Yep. Courtesy. Courtesy of Kakashi Sensei. Anyone, or the courtesy of the Hidden Leaf Village. Anyone who abandons their friends are nothing but scums. Ik Boruto. What happens if she falls? It's like this place is crumbling apart. Ah, you guys remember when Naruto did this, huh? Taking a playbook out of his father's uh, playbook note.
Wow, Boruto. Boruto. Boruto is really surpassing his limit, huh? Not just in strength, but also in his willpower. What, the Ambu Black Ops wants to... Oh, that's Boruto's voice. So they're out. <laughs> so that just sounds, sounds like her mother. She just sounded like her mother when Naruto would do something stupid and she just yells at him. You know? Uh, she sounded like Sakura so much right now. So everyone wasn't dead after all. They were still alive. Kitsumu, uh, or Kitsumu, this, this lady, or Yatsume, she kind of looks like uh, Kirito, the woman version of Kirito on season 2 of um, uh, Sword Art Online, for some reason. So she wrote Boruto, she left a letter for him and left on her own without saying goodbye. Probably for a good reason. So this arc kind of tags a little bit to Kara, to the Kara group. So does that mean that what is happening here is setting a good precedence on the next upcoming arc? And if my guess is correct, this is the last episode of this little arc. It's, it's done. It's over now. So I'm expecting on the next episode, we're going to see where Sasuke has gotten, how far he has gotten uh, on um, spotting code, right? We'll get to see what he's been doing, how far he has gotten searching for code, if he has uh, run into code and where the new Kara's hideouts are. And if something tells me that due to the fact that this Yatsume chick used to be part of Kara group. That tells us that uh, somehow, somewhere, we're going to see her again. And when we do see her again, the good thing is, hopefully she will be on the good side instead of the bad side because her meeting Boruto has changed her life, right? Boruto has given her a new meaning, the will to continue to live on. So I'm hoping that she's not going to forget about that, what Boruto did for her. Right? Oh boy, Naruto is ill. Next time. On Boruto. Sasuke story. Infiltration. Okay. Okay. Just like I have been predicting just like I have been wanting, just like I have hoped for, just like I just mentioned a couple of seconds ago, 
that we'll get to see what Sasuke has been up to. Uh, it's really sad what is going on right now. Naruto has been hit with an illness, which we don't know. Somehow, some way, I still feel like that illness that he's going through is probably due to the fact of what happened. Uh, having Kurama uh, dying and all. I think that may be what is causing Boruto the, his illness. Some type of a turmoil, right? Some type of a turmoil that is going on inside Boruto is now has afflicted him with an illness. Hopefully that will be rectified. And I, somehow, some way as well, I feel like what is happening right now, even with Naruto's illness, it's going to lead to maybe Orochimaru coming through and giving his thoughts on what should be done to help Naruto. And as well, Sasuke himself is not is no longer as powerful as he used to be, right? These two has been depowered so bad that it's, it's sad to, to just look at them now, you know, because they're not as powerful as they used to be. So with this sickness, it's going to trigger a situation that will hopefully help both of them. You know, a solution got to be found because leaving these two like this, um, when the enemy does strike, they are going to find it hard to defend themselves and defend their loved ones. So, which also kind of makes, makes the next upcoming episodes very, very interesting. Finally, I will say that uh, we are slowly, slowly getting into the code arc that we've been all... Be We've all been waiting for, for so long. We're slowly, slowly getting into it. And on that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> Sweet.